Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're talking Golden Girls, you guys. Today would have been Betty White's 100th birthday. And in honor of my all-time favorite Golden Girl, I thought what better time to get us kicked off with recapping some of the Golden Girls episodes. Betty White was born January 17th, 1922. Her television career spanned over eight decades. Isn't that amazing? She was one of the first women to work both in front of and behind the camera. And she was the first woman to produce a sitcom called Life with Elizabeth. And it contributed to her... Uh, she ended up becoming honorary mayor of Hollywood in 1955 because of it. She's often referred to as First Lady of Television... Uh, a title used in 2018 documentary detailing her life and career. Oh, Betty. Betty Marion White. She was born in Oak Park, Illinois. And, of course, we know she passed away December 31st, 2021, the age of 99. Oh, Betty White. I love you so much. Such a good actress. So much fun. I just... So many shows I loved her on and... So let's start this off on a happy note. Let's celebrate her life, her career, and let's talk about the Golden Girls. I reached out to you guys, and overwhelming majority voted that we go through and watch some of the Golden Girls episodes, so here we are. When I Googled it, they said season two is the funniest season, so I thought, you know what, let's just start with season two. We're going to kick off with episode one, and we're just going to go from there. I figured I'd just release episodes each week and we'll talk about them and we'll laugh and we'll relive some of the funniest moments. And, and it just sounded like a lot of fun. And what a what a way to honor Betty White just to start us off. So let's get into this. I did want to let you guys know I now have merch. I'm so excited about it. And so many people have already jumped on board and picked stuff up. Thank you for that. Please leave me a comment if you do, because it doesn't tell me your name when you buy, and I just want to match the order with the person, so thank you. Uh, but there's all kinds of, this is a load of pants stuff. We now have Justice for Steve stuff, so be sure to check it out. I'll put the link in the description. So Season 2, Episode 1 is called The End of the Curse, and what's interesting about this one is it's actually considered a controversial episode. The reason being is they refer back to... Raising minks a lot. Uh, raising mink for the fur. And all the women on the show, of course we know all about Betty White, but all the women actually were animal activists. So they protested the storyline. It still got put through. They did it. But uh, it's, it's something that, uh, that gets mentioned that, that it's just out of character for them. So this episode aired September 27th, 1986, and basically the premise is Blanche believes she's pregnant. <laughs> you guys, it's so good. I'm so excited. Okay, so the episode kicks off. Of course, we have Dorothy and Rose. They're having a conversation. Dorothy is talking about the Everglades and how they're being built upon and what a shame it is. And Rose says, you know what else is a shame? When you sit the... When you sit down and your thighs squish out to twice their size, <laughs> I love her. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so they have these cages, right? And we find out, again, it's going to have to do with minks. And they're cleaning the cages to get ready to raise the animals. They're hoping that they will breed so they can sell the again, sell them for their fur. So, controversial, I know, just out of character, but... That's what the storyline is. So we find out that Blanche is not coming out of her room. So when she finally does, Dorothy says, oh, Blanche, you must be feeling better. And, of course, Blanche says, better, better, played by the beautiful Rue McClanahan. Um, she's crying. She's, she's upset. Everybody's like, what's wrong? She said, I'm so nauseated. How did this happen to me? And Rose is saying, you can tell us. We understand she says she thinks she's pregnant, and that's all it takes. You guys, Rose faints. And, oh, I love that scene. I laughed so hard. So she completely passes out. She says she saw stars in blackness. She thought it was like being at the planetarium. So we find out Blanche did a home pregnancy test. Rose says it looks like a perfume sample. And Dorothy says, well, then put it behind your ears. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, so... 
Dorothy's asking Blanche who the father is. We find out she's nine weeks late. She's completely lost track. They say, well, you better go get your calendar and figure out what you did that week. Sophia has a fantastic line where she says, we know what she did. We just don't know who. Uh, Blanche says that she will be 65 when the child graduates. And Sophia corrects her and says, try 70. So Blanche actually states in this episode that she's 55 years old. Rue was actually 52 when this episode aired. So we have this story and the B story, of course, being the Minx. They, they're trying everything they can do to get these Minx in the mood. So that way they will make Mink babies. Um, and Dorothy says that we need an aphrodisiac. Rose has no idea what that is. And Dorothy tries to explain what Spanish fly is. <laughs> Again, Rose has no idea what that is. And <laughs> Dorothy just kind of loses her patience and loses her mind with Rose. And Rose says, you're really touchy about these Spanish flies, aren't you? Oh, this show is so much fun. I love it so much. I'd like to take a moment and say, look at the fashion. Look at the hairstyle. Very early 80s. Love it. Uh, you know, these women living in Miami, it's, I'm in Florida too. I, I just think it's so much fun. It's just, uh, so great to watch these shows again. P.S. I don't think I said it. It is on Hulu. If you want to watch along, they have all the seasons up there. They actually just put out, what was this show? The follow-up show that, um, Dorothy opted out of, I believe it was the Golden Palace maybe. But uh, that's now up on Hulu as well. So if you guys want to check that out, you know I'm all about it. I'll be totally honest. I love the Golden Girls. I was young when it came out. Uh, I was six, I think. And so I remember watching it. I remember my mom watching it, grandma watching that sort of thing. I haven't seen all the episodes. Like, I don't remember. I remember watching it a bunch, but I don't remember. Like, I didn't remember this episode. And I found it so funny watching it. So Blanche... She's home. She's crying. Dorothy and Rose are trying to talk to her through her door. She's saying it's the worst thing ever. And they're like, no, don't worry. If you're pregnant, we'll help you take turns and we'll help with the baby. And she says, no, I'm not pregnant. It's so much worse. My life is over. Rose says, oh, my God, I'm so sorry for thinking such bad things about you. Like, what a slut you are. <laughs> but now that you're dying, I'm sorry. And Blanche says, I'm not dying. It's menopause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so they end up taking Blanche to a psychiatrist because Blanche will not get out of bed. She won't eat. She won't sleep. She just cries. Sophia makes this part of the episode because she's, okay, you guys, we, I mean, we know it's back in the 80s. It just was a different mindset. Dorothy was trying to be the voice of reason saying it's a great thing to go to therapy and Sophia is basically saying, nope, it's just, she literally says it's for fruitcakes. So she points out another patient and says, he looks like a fruitcake serial murderer. And of course, Rose <laughs> gets on that and says, well, he, he needs to be here if he's murdering cereal. <laughs> Blanche says she can't do this. She won't talk to a stranger about it. Just then the therapist calls her in. Meanwhile, Sophia is still pointing out some guy in the lobby and says that he, he's, she calls him a banana boat. She ends up talking to him and he thinks that a spaceship has landed in his yard. So again, not, not painting therapy in the best light. So Blanche is talking to her therapist and saying her life is older, be, uh, over because she's old. And the therapist is like, what? Is it, hard, you know, why is this so hard for you to accept? And Blanche has a very funny line here where she says, no one in my family has seen a psychiatrist until they were institutionalized. That's great. So it's not menopause. It's what it means. It's about growing older. It represents a loss of attractiveness for her. So, uh, you guys, I just love the show. Blanche is saying my only hope is to become an intellectual and find a retired Jew. So he's yeah, explained there's a lot more, um, there's a lot more to life and, and it's okay. And she says it scares her and she's sad and she's just having these dark, depressive thoughts. So she's trying to talk to him about it. We go back home and Rose says, I'm sure we can get Dr. Parks to get those minks in the mood. 
And we see Blanche out of bed. Dorothy says it's wonderful that she's out. And Blanche says she's just going to spend her life in the company of the women. And I can't think of a better life. That sounds like so much fun for them. So Dorothy says you don't get cramps. You don't get crazy once a month. It's heaven. It's great to be rid of it. Sophia chimes in and says, but you do gr you grow a beard. And Ro <laughs> Rose says, well, I never grew a beard. Sophia says she never grew brains either. Dorothy says she never saw it as part of her sexuality. And I thought, you know what? That's pretty progressive for the early 80s to say something like that. Like, you can still be sexual even after menopause. You know, like that That wouldn't have been something that most shows would have tackled in the 80s. So that I just, again, another reason I love this show, they would approach things like that and just kind of have a different attitude about it. So Rose explains that her mother never told her about periods and Dorothy says what a surprise Blanche tells this really funny story of the curse that her mother took her to the doctor when she was 15 because she hadn't had the curse and and uh Rue McClay sorry Blanche says well yeah I got my period when I was 13 I just don't have the curse well if you look at Betty White she actually starts laughing for real in the scene and I love seeing details like that when they break and they start laughing P.S. I want to dive my face in this chocolate cake I just thought it looked delicious. Okay. So Rose says she lives in Florida. She can't tell the difference when she has hot flashes and when it's a weather front. So then the vet comes out. He says the minks are just too old to breed. So Blanche starts flirting with him and that she says she's such a lover of animals. And Dorothy says she could be in a coma, but if you put a man within five miles that, uh, she'd roll over and shave her legs. So great line. The the vet is flirting with her and she offers to show him the lizards out on the lanai. So, so they make their, themselves scarce. So Rose says she can't believe that they sold the minks that were too old uh, to reproduce. We find out here that they spent $675. And she says, well, then what did we make? And they said a mistake, a large, expensive mistake. So then Blanche comes out. She's feeling much more attractive. She's all dressed up. She says, so they attribute it to her and the guy flirting with each other. And she's like, no, it's not because of that. It's because of you girls. You were so caring and so supportive. And I want to thank you for that. She says she knows beauty like hers doesn't fade overnight. And I love that. I love that line. That's, that's a great thing to keep in the back of your head. So Dorothy says that she's called people to take care of the minks to get them out of there. And Rose says, no, they're going to stay. They've served man. Now we serve them. And Blanche agrees. She says that they should stay. They catch two of the minks getting it on. And they're like, woohoo, we're back in business. And Dorothy points out, mm, nope, those are two of the, the males getting it on. So, <laughs> so we won't be having mink. So that's it for the episode. You guys are so cute and so fun. And I loved watching that and going back through it and taking notes and kind of reading about, you know, the episode and what all was going on. So fun to dive into this. I'm excited to keep going. I want to watch more episodes. I want to talk about them all with you. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. The comments really do help me out as well as the thumbs up and if you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate every single one of you. I read all the comments. I love them all so much. Do check out the merch if that's something you're interested in. It's not just like t-shirts. I have like stickers and bags and things like that if that's something you're interested in. Also, I still have Patreon, patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. You can find all the original Sex and the City episodes I've been going through, and I have Carrie Diaries on some of the tiers and all kinds of stuff. So check that out, and thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you again soon, and happy birthday, Betty White. <laughs>